bro. Akashi, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 me, let me gather my thoughts right now because the resolve is too real. Dude, he's a fucking beast. He's an animal. He's an animal. He's a god. The, the demeanor, the swag. He's a fucking god, emperor, unchallenged, untouched. Oh my god, dude. the whole course of this game played out in the palm of this man's hands. He had it since the beginning. Rakuzan defeats Shutoku in this episode of Kuroko no Basket, Season 3, Episode 6. Rest in peace, the kings of veterans, is what Akashi says at the end of this game. And he applauds them. He says you didn't lose heart to the very end. I respect you. But you're just too late. You're second too late. You can't defeat me. The, the, the declarations that this man makes throughout the game. Because you see that Takao and Mirarima have him surprised. They did shock him. As he says, you surpassed my assumptions. But you were below my imagination. I was like, dude... <laughs> Oh my god, you were above what I assumed, but you were below what I imagined. You still can't defeat me. The declarations this man makes in the middle after Takao and Amiderima reveal their trump card. And you see the backstory into, you know, how Amiderima came to trust and respect Takao, what they're, you know, practicing afterwards, and they became a sort of dynamic duo, a light, the light and shadow of Shotoku, similar to Kami and Kuroko. You see the precision pass straight into Mirarima's three. Dude already jumps without the ball, just flying up there. Right into his hands, draining threes like a monster. Even Akashi is surprised for a second. Rakuzan staggers for a little bit. And then Akashi does something. He makes a bunch of declarations, right? He goes to his teammates after shooting a basket in his own goal. Dude. Everyone was stunned. The entirety of the game went quiet. They were like, has he lost his fucking mind? He destroys Shotoko's momentum by scoring on himself. And he says to his team, what the fuck are you guys doing? Straight up. What the fuck are you guys doing? You think just because we got a lead you laxed your nerves? You going easier now? If we lose because of those points that I just scored on ourselves, I'll quit the team. I'll gouge my eyes out and give them to you. That's what Akashi tells his teammates. And everybody said, like, everybody's like, what the fuck is this dude on? He's insane. It's a game. It's an extracurricular. What is he talking about? He can't be serious. Kagami's the only one that knows. Because that man had to evade the scissors. The man coming at him with the scissors. You see the flashback. Kagami knows that the words that Akashi utters, his resolve, what he says, he'll actually do it. There's an air of sinister, you know, a sinister air about him. He makes this declaration to his team and shifts the course of the game. It was all part of his calculations as Takao tries to man the fuck up and go in at the end, dodging the double, the double team and trying to do a quick pass to meet him. Akashi just stops it. He calculated the path. He laid the groundwork from the beginning. The entire Shitoko is shocked by the man's tactical prowess. It's not just his skills. It's not just his OP God Emperor eye. The tactics, whether it's shogi or basketball, he says to me, you can't defeat me. You can't defeat me. That's what he says. He had it planned out since the beginning. Slowed, his, slowed his pace to deceive Takao and everybody else on the team of what he was capable of. All for that moment. He says, you're not scoring another basket. Intercepts the pass, dude. He, te he tells the uncrowned kings, the fuck are you doing, let's go. And you see all of them step up. Leo, by the way, Le Leo's gay. Leo's straight up gay. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, mind you. I'm not saying that. As people who actually know me and follow my channel, I do not discriminate against anybody for anything. I love everybody, okay? I'm not saying anything about that. But he is, you know. Kind of an outcome. Uh, I, I sense it. I feel it. Okay? The entirety of Rakuzan goes in in the final half and completely blots out any chance at hope 
that Shutoko had. This match was crazy. The back and forth. Midorima stretching himself to the, to the ends of his abilities to defeat Akashi. And Akashi just showcasing that he can't be touched. And it was interesting to see that they show the fifth man of Rakuzan a little bit this episode. Mind you, his face is always shattered out, just mostly back shots, but they give him a little bit more court presence in this episode. But you still don't know anything about him. It's key. It's key. Overall, I love this game, dude. The twist Midorima fighting to the end to prove himself and teach Akashi defeat. Man doesn't submit. He can't. He's godly. He's untouchable. He had the game in the palm of his hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. And the music this episode, the animation, beautiful as always. IG going in. Everything looks so sexy. The music, especially this, this kind of, you know, war theme that's going on as Rakuzan just destroys their last hopes. Akashi going in. I'm like, dude. Dude. <sighs> okay. Next week, we got the serious semifinal game going, though. We got, we got the serious game going on. That is Kaijo versus Satan. Kagami and Kuroko versus my boy Kisei. She's gonna be, she's gonna, and we, we know Kisei's a little bit, you know, not in full form. But it's still gonna be fucking crazy. It's still gonna be fucking crazy. So, let me know your thoughts on this episode of Kuroko. Fucking beast. It's fucking amazing. Akashi showcasing why he's fucking god mode right now. Good game though, Shitoko. They had hard like, as Akashi said, respects them. They all went in. They all tried their best to the very end. I'm hyped for next week. Though. I'm hyped for this next game because I really love this next game too. The finals. Oh, I have some different feels about the finals, but we'll, we'll get to that. We'll cross that bridge when we actually get to that. Let me know your thoughts. I'm out. Peace.